first, please welcome Jackie Glass. We are talking about your favorite color, yes. or non-color, whatever you want to call it, white. <laughs> you decorate so often with white, it makes sense that we would talk about layering a table with white for the holidays. And I think there's something so lovely about white it during the so holidays. It can be so simple, but so gorgeous. And dramatic. And dramatic. Yes, Absolutely. because you do throw other colors in. And I want to start with saying we're moving into the holiday season, so we're going to be entertaining a little bit more. There might be those drop-ins unexpectedly. Yeah. And we still always want to look very, very polished. So you really want to start with the very basics. First of all, start with your white tablecloth or white placemats, mm -hmm. white linens. Those are kind of the basics and a basic white plate and most of us can get a dozen plates at a lot of different stores will carry them and they can be just a couple of bucks each which is great. So that begins sort of the basis of your tabletop. Mm -hmm. Then of course you want to add a little bit of interest. So let's start talking about the colors we're going to see this season. We're going to be seeing silver and gold which yeah. are typically lovely festive colors but we're going to see them together just like the gold and silver jewelry we wear. It's okay to play up the gold and silver on the same table. Right. So what's really pretty though is if you've got your basic whites, go to a store and start adding, this is what I do, maybe a couple of dessert plates, a set of six or whatever, mm -hmm. and what you're seeing are really funkier gold and silver patterns. Yeah, those are so it's not the typical, oh, I've got a gold and silver white pattern, you know, of, of olden days. These are a little funkier, and that adds a little bit more of a, a fun, eclectic look to your table. Mm -hmm. So what you can do then is add that to your charger or to your dinner plate, and it's always nice to give a guest sort of takeaway. Yeah. And you can do some things that are really, really simple that are very visual. One of the things I love is these little mini cupcake stands. Those are great. Aren't they pretty? Mm -hmm. And then you can add a little uh, artificial boxwood. And what's really big this season is a cloche, yeah. which are very, very pretty. But if you want someone just to take something home with them, this is where, and this is where I went to Sage Gardening, one of my favorite gardeners where you go into your garden and you actually can get some ferns. These are things that are still in your garden and are still green. Mm -hmm. And literally making almost like little nosegays that you can lay on your table, whether it's on top of that or just flat on the That's plate. That's lovely. And you add that, there's where your little bit of color is. You're adding right. that bit of greenery. Very so nice. So it starts to add a really- It also sort of looks like prom time, right? Yes, it does. This is my corsage. <laughs> you can exactly. go out and use it afterwards, but this is actually really quite beautiful. Mm. I think often we're just looking for a little bit of green. Yes. And this this is a great way to do it. Most definitely. These little mini, did you get this from a florist? I did not. Actually, I got that from Winterberry Lanes, who I supplied us this. with all of the beautiful stemware and glassware and all the accessories that we see here. Gorgeous. So Sage Gardening just went into the garden, which is great, but you also can go out and buy roses, which is what we also did. You can simply add some roses, which is a very low cost at your grocery store. Mm -hmm. And again, go into the garden and get your cuttings. Right. Now, another quick, easy tip, again, creating a white, is a lot of us have cake plates. Yeah. Why don't we stack them and layer them? Uh -huh. And then instead of killing ourselves with, we can always put sweets on them later, but again, adding those little nosegays of greenery, particularly even ivy, something so simple just to wrap it around. Right. It keeps the tabletop clean, so you can still have lots of room for foods, and you can go from there. Very nice. And don't forget to mention your, your furry owl over there. Well, and ooh, before ooh. I go into, because he's my piece de resistance, but remember too, everything's gold and silver. So even really pretty little Christmas trees, again, Winterberry Lane supply these lovely, lovely, mix that, that gold and silver together. Yeah. And hot, hot, hot this season. It's all about the owl. It's all about the owl. So wow. if you can incorporate him, whether it's on a tree, yeah. whether you put him on a mantle, whatever, really, really pretty. So it just adds, an, oh, and mercury glass. Hot, yes. hot, hot. Okay, Owls so and mercury this. glass. So by mercury glass, is it that sort of spotted veneer that you It's a mottled, that old got? world, yes. That is hot, hot, hot this season. And these Very are nice. tiny little ones, which again, do multiples of anything on a table. Okay. You instantly look pulled together. Lovely. Okay. Very nice. Don't forget yes. also your bowl of balls. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ladle some of those Absolutely. up. Absolutely. And a good table always works. Thanks, LT. And you didn't do a tablecloth I wanted to mention. So a lot of people ditching the tablecloth. They are. They'll do runners, and they'll do runners on this side, on the perimeter of the tables, not yeah. in the center anymore. But just Very remember nice. too, if you've got hot plates and things like that, stick something underneath it, just hide it. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, I hear you.